The city of Boise is working to understand if fish in the Boise River are being impacted by people. When water leaves the wastewater treatment facility and re-enters the river, it's warmer than the river water. So the city is conducting a study to see if fish are affected by these warmer waters. And I was there when crews were setting that study into motion. Oh, a new rainbow. He's happy. City of Boise crews are working to protect an important fishery. Yeah, they're looking good. And people come from all over to fish yeah. this river. Fish can be affected by lots of different conditions in our local rivers. Water quality, flow rates, and even water temperatures can all play a part in fish health. No, no tag, tag. No tag. For the first time, crews will be able to definitively say if warmer water near the Boise wastewater treatment plant is affecting fish in the Boise River. We have two waste water renewal facilities um, where we we treat effluent like fish. Doreen McCoy is the sampling and monitoring supervisor in the water quality division of the Boise Public Works Department. The water renewal process heats up the water. In general, the discharge is 10 to 20 degrees warmer than the river water upstream. But when the discharge and the river water combine and flow downstream, it amounts to one to three degrees of warming in the river. So with this study, we want to make sure that that water, that clean water, a little bit warmer than the river, is not acting as a fish barrier. The key to this study is being able to track the movements of the fish in a stretch of the river just west of Boise. So crews caught and tagged fish to be able to see where they swim. The fish were caught using an electro fishing technique. So it creates a field of electricity that the fish are drawn to and then they're stunned and we net them. McCoy says this method is safer for the fish than if crews caught them using nets since the fish are handled less. Before we even start handling the fish, the fish have a spa day. So we have um, peppermint oil that we put in the water that makes them very, very mellow. McCoy says the more mellow the fish are, the less they fight and the easier the process is on their bodies. Then the fish are prepped to have a tag inserted. We tag them um, in their belly cavity with the two millimeter tag. Once the tag is inserted, crews check to make sure it's working. 270. We weigh, measure, um, I identify the fish. 216. We have them recover and then we put them back in the water. As the fish swim away, you may not see them in the river, but crews will be able to tell where they go. Each tag has a unique ID number that will be detected by radio equipment that's near the discharge site of the wastewater treatment facility. Where it just registers that number and then it, that's transmitted to a box and records that data. So every time a fish approaches this equipment, crews will be able to confirm that fish downstream of the wastewater treatment plant can swim past the warmer waters and continue upstream. And we've shown that we're effectively not blocking fish passage. A proactive approach by the city of Boise to make sure that our everyday lives aren't impacting the aquatic life around us. McCoy also says this is the first time scientists have been able to track fish in the Boise River. She adds that data is very valuable and has multiple uses. For example, this could be the first time there is concrete data about spawning timing of rainbow and brown trout, which is really great information for both the Department of Fish and Game and anglers. We'll be right back with more of the news at four after this.